here at HSN. By the way, he's not back till November, guys. So this is your chance to really think about all your holiday cooking. And we have the pressure cooking com coming up yeah. just a few minutes away from that. You do not want to miss this one. But first, the key, the secret, he has shared with only our HSN viewers how to make the perfect, famous the perfect mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Now, I love to cook them in my pressure cooker. Why? Because I only need one cup of water and the rest is cooked by the steam. So you don't get watery potatoes. So we're going to open it up, relieve the steam. And as soon as the steam is gone, we can open it. She's steaming hot. Oh. Now, my favorite potatoes for, for mashed potatoes are Yukon Gold. They have a wonderful buttery, nutty flavor. Now, you could not make really great mashed potatoes without an eraser. You could stomp them, but it, then it gets lumpy. With this, you get the fluffiest mashed potatoes you will ever eat. Now, we have the same thing in our restaurant mm -hmm. with Here's the potatoes. You can see there's no water really in here. Maybe a little bit left on the bottom. That's it. But the potatoes are nice and dry. So you fill that up. And then all you have to do is squeeze them out. Look see it. that? Look. Oh, my. It's so simple, too. Now, a, an important part. If you want to make mashed potatoes, puree them or put them in the rice up while they are hot. Don't let them get cold. The best product, the best results, is when they're hot. Now, the thing is, you could make make them just like I do here and cool them off and then heat them up with a little cream or milk or butter. That's fine. But when you put them in the riser while they are hot, you get really beautiful, fluffy mashed potatoes. And I have eaten your mashed potatoes at Post Trio. Yeah. We saw you in, in Las Vegas. <laughs> Callie Northagen and I were out there. Yeah. They now, almost floated Look, look the at that. And with this, plate. it's really easy. You don't have to be strong to squeeze it together. Now, this could be sweet potatoes. This could be any kind of root vegetables. It could be carrots, rutabaga, whatever you have. You can make them in here. And that's the way to make the best mashed potatoes. So. You have a pressure cooker, and then you need the riser. Without the riser, you're never going to make fluffy mashed potatoes like I have in my restaurant. This is amazing, guys. $19.90 for, free yeah. shipping. Everything is on free shipping, even on, on his collection. Now, look at, look at that. See that here? Can you look mm, in here? Look at that. Just so we add a little butter maybe here, okay. if you like butter. We like butter. You can add olive oil. You go to South of France or Tuscany. They have a lot of mashed potatoes, but they add olive oil. So you decide what you want. Naturally, we need a little salt. Now, don't forget, when you cook the potatoes, add salt to the water. Okay, a little salt. And we have the salt and pepper grinding mills available yeah. as well today with the free shipping and handling it. And oh. Milk or cream? Yeah, either one. You can add milk, a little cream. If you're on a diet, you can add, you know, low-fat milk to it if you want to. Mm -hmm. If you want to cook the potatoes, you can put some garlic cloves in there. Yum. You can already see how creamy yeah, it is. Yeah, and it's beautiful, creamy, and look at that. Incorporate the butter. Now, my friend Joel Robichon, he's famous in Paris for his mashed potatoes. He adds like three pounds of potatoes, one pound of butter. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't eat a lot of them. No, but two bites. every food critic, like <laughs> Patricia Waltz from the New York Times or the International Health Tribune, she said, you know what? You eat that mashed potatoes and you go to heaven. And that's what it really is. Small quantity, smaller quantity of high quality and delicious tasting food. So you don't have to eat so much. Let's taste it. Look, it, it looks like you mm, put these food already. immersion blender or something. I mean, and it's so creamy. There's not one lump in that. Yeah. Now look at look at that. This is about the right texture for me. Look at that. Oh, See that? So pretty. It's. It, can oh, you imagine, guys, having the creamiest mashed potatoes? Everybody loves them. Yeah. I have my final 1,000. In fact, I don't even have a thousand. Right. I'll left. show you one more time, and okay. we make another version of mashed potatoes. The main thing is to arise them, put them in a riser, and make them fluffy. So that way, you go to a fine restaurant, mm -hmm. you get these fluffy mashed potatoes. It's because they put them through their riser. Look at that. See? Mm -hmm. It's obvious that it's going to be fluffy because everything comes out perfectly pureed here. Now, if you want to add a little pesto, for example, 
Put a little pesto in here mm. and we'll mix it together. You can add anything yeah. you Look want. Look at that. So now, if you want to serve, you don't have to wait for St. Patrick's Day, but if you want to serve something Italian style or Provencal style, you add a little bit of that. Like that goes deliciously with some fish, for example. Mm. And look at the construction of this yeah. racer. I mean, guys, all stainless this steel. Is it is yes. absolutely going to last for our lamp years shop. Yeah. after year after year. Less than $20, free shipping and handling. Your family will go nuts. I know. It, you make the best mashed potatoes. If it's not mashed potatoes...